Hey, it's me, Destin. Uh, welcome back to Smarter Every Day. This is Steve Mould. Hi. You've seen him. You've seen his face when he did the chain. What's it? What's the deal? Well, it's called the Mould Effect. Is it really? Honestly, because, uh, yeah, some scientists uh, named it that I've in a I've always paper. wanted something named after me. I it would I... be something stupid if it was like the Sandlin. So anyway, long story short, we were in an argument. And we are going to settle it with internet physics videos, which is the appropriate way to settle an argument. If you've never seen a nerd fight, they look just like this. Steve has proposed the building of a spinny water apparatus, and he's telling me he thinks the water is going to sling out of it in a certain direction. Now, Steve seems like a pretty smart guy, if you can look past the British accent and all that, but I just don't agree with him. Somewhere along the argument, we decide that it's going to take a phantom camera to figure out exactly what's going to happen with this device. But at the end of the discussion, I started to think that maybe Steve has already built this thing and I'm just getting played. Anyway, this is how that discussion ended. We made an agreement. And what did you say about being in Alabama? If you make a handshake in Alabama, yeah. it's a contract. All right. And we already did this, right? Shut so. up. <laughs> I am on a train in London, about to go see Steve Mole at the high-speed camera. I've been tricked, I'm pretty sure. Whenever I visit someone whose videos I watch on YouTube, I'm always really excited to see where they film in real life. Okay, so this is the studio, right? <laughs> it looks so much bigger on YouTube. Yeah, where's the, where's the red pot? Everyone always says it looks smaller, but... I'm... Once we were in Steve's back garden, we set up the slow motion camera and finalized the terms of our disagreement. To state the question uh, simply, if you spin it and then you take a snapshot, what does the snapshot look like? Okay, so so what which direction so you, is it so spinning? You, so your your description was this. You said that uh, the the water would come out and then it would kind of go like this and it would be back here like that. Okay, so we take a snapshot and it looks like that. Well, I think that happens, but I think it also it also goes in the direction of rotation. Okay, this is just a way to think about it in two steps. Okay, because okay. If, if the question is too complicated, just simplify it and then you might get there. Okay. So this is, the, water, the, the jets are just coming out like this, okay? Okay. Uh, and so we're gonna spin it this way. And then now maybe you have an intuitive uh, understanding of what's gonna happen when you take a snapshot. Destin, what do you, what do you think? So we have angular momentum. Yeah. Angular momentum there, right? Yeah. And so I would think that as a particle comes out here, it has some sidewards velocity. Uh -huh. That's that's a term, right? Sidewards. Uh, sidewards, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so ta let's say tangential. Well, I'm just gonna say sidewards. I'm from Alabama, <laughs> so so it's got some sidewards direction uh -huh. here. And so I think what's gonna happen is you're gonna see a curve get thrown out like that. Okay. So you think if it's spinning in this direction, the curve is gonna go like that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Am I wrong? <laughs> That's like the opposite of most people's intuition. Why? <laughs> because, okay, well, most people would say, look, it's gonna come out here, and it's gonna, it's gonna trail behind. Oh. That'd be most people's intuition. Well, I think it's a... Well, should we see what happens? Well, let's do this then. What this do you... Like, this is the simpler puzzle, so let's just try this one. Yeah, okay, let me set the phantom up. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? I think so, yeah. You think I'm wrong? I think you're wrong even about this, uh, <laughs> the, the simpler version. Okay, so here we go. The first question is, what happens with just straight water coming out? And you think, what's gonna happen? So I think the, the you're gonna get this curve of water that trails the motion of the spouts. But, I, yeah, I think it's gonna trail the motion of the spout, but it could. It still. It still has motion going in the direction of rotation. It does, but I. But it does. It does. You're trying to make me look stupid, <laughs> is what you're doing. I'm just gonna get absolutely soaked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep my feet up. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Ready? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. All right, there you That's go. really pretty. Okay, so let's take a look at that slow motion and see why Steve and I both agree and disagree. So yeah, it's kind of, it's, <laughs> it's trailing the, that's what I meant by trailing, right? It goes, it goes it's, it's behind the direction of motion, right? It's, okay, yeah. granted, granted. Yeah. But any individual particle is actually going out yeah. and away. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. So I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a language problem. If you look at it from the snapshot view, you could say it's trailing, but I'm an American, and I think about what that particle is seeing and experiencing on its own, and Steve's wrong. In a British, sort of always right kind of way. As water exits the spout, let's track any one droplet and try to draw what it does. There are two things happening here. Number one, it's being shot out of the spout. That gives it an initial velocity in this direction. Number two, it's being slung around the wheel by rotation, which means when it exits the spout, it also has this velocity going in this direction. 
Now that we have those two components laid out, if you add the arrows together, that gives you the final direction of the water when it leaves the pipe. And if you'll notice, it's not actually trailing the pipe, it's moving in a straight line forward. If you were to draw a circle in your mind around any drop that's on the screen right now and follow it, you'll see that it's moving in a straight line forward from the direction that it left the pipe. It looks like it's trailing, but it's not. That's an optical illusion. So we're now gonna have the water jets uh, firing into the center. You made this just to just to get onto me. About yes. This. Yeah. this was just to get onto your YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked. <laughs> so my guess is if we, if we follow the same logic that we had before and, and, and we have the 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 rotational velocity omega mm -hmm. times the radius r then that's going to make this go in this direction mm -hmm. but the water jet is going to be coming up and at you like this so i would expect a snapshot oh god i see the problem now <laughs> <laughs> so so when we start it it's going to all go to the middle but as you start to accelerate i think it's going to the snapshot is going to look like it's lagging behind uh -huh. And then as we get faster and faster, it's going to look like it's going forward. Okay, that's interesting. So uh, at some, there's a certain speed you think where, speed of rotation, where it's going to come back to the middle. We're talking about the snapshot right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I think that's possible. Okay, yeah. But what, but what I like is, and, and what most people's intuition is, uh, you would expect it to lag behind, right? Well, I, so think it, I think it's going to start lagging behind uh -huh. for a snapshot, and then it'll speed back up. Okay, well, let's find out. Okay, I'm going to turn the water on. Are you clear? Oh, that's beautiful. Is it hitting in the middle? Nice. <laughs> Almost. It wants to. We can tune it, right? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty, dude. Yeah, it's cool, huh? Ah, that's awesome. It feels weird. Yeah. Like it looks. It just it doesn't look right, does it? No. It doesn't look right at all. Okay, I'm just gonna try and go as fast as I can just with my hand. There you go, but if coming. you go really slow, does it lag at all? No. As, as soon as it you start to move it, as forward. soon as you start to move it, it goes forward. Okay. I was wrong, but Steve was right. <laughs> Let's run the slow-mo. Okay, what we're seeing here is fascinating. Part of it's obvious, part of it's not so obvious. You remember before when we said you had two velocity components, right? Number one, we have the water that's shooting out of the spout, which gives it a velocity in this direction. And number two, it's being slung around by rotation, which gives it velocity in this direction. Just like before, let's add those arrows up. And again, the water is still moving in a straight line. Just like before, you can track any particle and follow it, and you'll see that it's moving in a straight line away from the nozzle. The fun thing about this device for me is that it's tricking my brain into thinking that the water is actively curving out in front, but it's not. Your brain tricks itself into thinking the water is turning. And here we are at the smarter everyday moment for me personally. When I'm presented with a problem, oftentimes I get pretty headstrong, like maybe even arrogant, because of my education on the topic or because I have a life experience that makes me think I know all the answers. And when that happens in my heart, I am less likely to hear the other person. At times during this experiment, Steve and I were communicating the exact same physical truths from two different perspectives. And because we weren't saying it exactly the same way, I misinterpreted that to mean that one of us had to be wrong. As I look back at this footage, it was obvious to me that Steve clearly understood my perspective, but I can't say I took the time to do the same for him. Because of that, when I was really wrong and he was trying to explain it to me, I was already shut down. I couldn't see it. I just looked like an idiot. Here's the takeaway for me. 
When I disagree with someone, or at least I think I disagree with someone, it is imperative that I stop, I listen, and I don't move on until I completely understand the other person's perspective. Because it's possible you'll find that you don't actually disagree. It, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't it? feel right at all, but it makes perfect sense. Real quick, this video is sponsored by Audible. You can get any audiobook of your choosing, plus two free Audible originals by going to audible.com slash smarter or texting the word smarter to 500-500. Speaking of disagreements with the British, I want to try to convince you to listen to a book. I have discovered biographies. I want to direct your attention to this book. It's called The Marquis, and it's about Marquis de Lafayette. It's written by Laura Arriccio. I think that's how you say her name. It's a fantastic look at a Frenchman's activities during the American Revolution and how those unfolded and transformed into his role in the French Revolution. It is fascinating stuff. Go get The Marquis Lafayette Reconsidered by going to audible.com slash smarter or texting the word smarter to 500-500. There's also tons of other titles you can get. There are Audible Originals which are exclusively available on Audible. I reclaim my time in the car by listening to audiobooks. Okay, let's go back to Steve's garden and thank him for building such a wonderful contraption. He makes incredible physics videos, all kinds of really neat stuff. You need to check out his channel. You wanna tell people a couple of videos that you recommend? I wanted to explain gravitational waves, but I wanted to build something to say, this is what gravitational waves are. It involves a Lycra sheet and a drill with wheels attached. So, so you, so you feel like you explain. nailed it on that one. I feel like I got like as close as I could get. Okay. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm really proud of it. So, so I will leave links over here so you can yeah. check out these videos. They're in space. You can't see them, oh, but they're okay. in space. So go check those out. Um, you're yes. hoping to get to a million subscribers. That's the goal, uh, right? That's what I want. Let's just be yeah. real. That's yeah. the goal. That's what I, that's what I want. I'd feel really proud if I got the, you know, the gold play button. And All right, that's stuff. the goal. Let's just be real here. <laughs> let's, let's don't fake it. So anyway, that's it. Go check out Steve's channel. He makes great stuff. Uh, I've, I've watched your stuff for years, man. So oh, thanks. this is really fun to be in your, in your back garden, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cool. I appreciate it. I'm Destin. This is Steve. Getting smarter every day. Have a good one. Bye.